Well, folks, it's definitely a climb. Whew. Oh, wow, this is worth it. Oh, look at this. Hey, we're Mel and Jay. Together with our cat, Benny, we've traveled from Hope, B.C. to South Padre Island, Texas, and now we're on our way back. So we've just arrived at the Franklin Mountain State Park, and it's really nice. So we figured we should go for a little hike. Definitely hot here in the sun in the height of the day. It's evening now, but bring lots and lots of water. Yeah, anytime you're walking or hiking in the desert, always bring way more water than what you think you need. All right, we're gonna check out the Aztec Caves Trail. And we were speaking to another couple and they said it had some pretty decent elevation. I'm already out of breath just walking up the driveway here. <laughs> and they also said that it's a really cool hike. So it's definitely one to not be missed if you come hiking here. All right, let's do it. You saw the map? You're good yep. to go? 0.9 miles one way. Okay. You gotta be careful on this trail not to trip. Look at these huge rocks. Getting hot. It's warm. Yeah. Check out this awesome view. Well, folks, it's definitely a climb. Whew. Getting cold now. The breeze and yeah, the shadow. Wow, these are pretty big caves. Lots of echoing. Well, this was really cool, but it's getting towards sunset, so we gotta head back down quickly and carefully. Yes. It's a long way down. So we've been making it a habit to get a magnet and a t-shirt at most of our major stops. So that's where we're headed first today in El Paso. Why don't you show us what you got at So El Paso? They did have some t-shirts, but they were not in the right size, unfortunately. Yeah, they had small and extra, extra large. It didn't quite work. But got this cool magnet. Look at him. Dee, 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 dee. And then Mel found this very spicy peanut brittle. It's like sweet, like tastes like peanut brittle when you first eat it. And then you swallow it and the chilies hit you. Really, really interesting. Never seen anything like it before. So we just had to buy a bag. Mel's on the hunt for garden art again. Go into a restaurant, Rudy's Barbecue, and gas station, apparently. All right, here we are. During our brief stay here in El Paso, we're checking out some of the hikes around the Franklin Mountains. And we're gonna go check out one that was recommended at the visitor center. What's it called? Monday's Gap. Monday's Gap. Four yeah. mile hike. And I've even got a hat this time, so my head doesn't get sunburned. It's your new Starlink hat, <laughs> or Star SpaceX hat. So Monday's Gap starts after the West Cottonwood Trail, it seems. So we've got to do that trail first. Apparently there is a 300 meter or about a thousand foot elevation gain on this trail. I feel like I might be out of breath again. Hopefully that hike that we did when we first got here 
has improved my cardio and got it kind of going again. Plants. Plants. Watch out for snakes. We have yet to see a snake in Texas. And yet, they're definitely around. I think it's winter and most of them are sleeping in their little snake pit den things. Well, who knows? This is our last chance to see a snake in Texas, so maybe today will be the day. Didn't even notice this. Mel pointed out there's a little gate. Looks like maybe a cave that they don't want people going into. Maybe a vent to a secret underground lair. There's a whole lot of prickly pear cactus around here. You can actually eat them, and we did eat them in Baja. They taste like green beans. They're very good. Maybe we'll grab a snack along the way. And they're really losing this section of trail, despite their best efforts. Belle can't decide if she's too hot or too cold. She's taking the sweatshirt off, put it on, take it off, put it on. It's not just halfway on. It seems to be the nice medium. Oh, wow, this was worth it. Look at this. I don't think we're gonna walk all the way down and back up again. I feel like the path goes like, oh, all the way down. But then we'd have to come all the way back up. And I, I feel like that would suck. I'm good so with you. I think we should just use these benches and have a snack. Oh, I think that's a good idea. Well, maybe this bench is slightly better shape than that one. Snack time. We can see a mountain with a snowy peak. I wonder which one that is. Maybe near Albuquerque? I, I wonder know. if it's that one near Albuquerque. Okay, so I've put terrain mode on my Google Maps here. And from what I'm looking at, there's not a lot between here and the Sandias Mountains in Albuquerque. What's the distance? Well, from here... How far is it? Well, it's a four and a half hour drive. Five hour drive, sorry. So it's like a good, like, almost 300 miles. Is it actually, cool. like, I'm finding that hard to believe. So I've attempted to fact check this using ChatGPT. And it says that the Sandia Mountains are not visible from El Paso, Texas. Okay. Which that is about... sense. Yeah, because they're near Albuquerque, which is 270 miles north of El Paso. The distance is too great to be visible given the curvature of the Earth and the atmosphere. So when you're looking northeast, the most prominent mountains visible are the Oregon Mountains, apparently. And they are in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Yeah. Huh. So now you know, thanks to ChatGPT. And the Oregon Mountains are about 9,000 feet, which is lots tall enough to get snow down here. Well, honestly, this trail really wasn't that bad. I feel like that Aztec trail that we did earlier was way, way steeper in sections. This one had, you know, a couple kind of long inclines, but nothing that got me even close to out of breath. So I think we decided it's kind of moderate. Definitely a nice moderate walk. With some nice views. Well, it was a nice little walk. Looks like I've done 11,400 steps. Oh, here, I've got it. We did seven, come on, go back. 7.49 kilometers in two hours and 21 minutes, an average pace of 18 minutes and 56 seconds per kilometer. Decent little walk. Time for another desert haircut. Are you watching, boo? Nice having a personal stylist along with you. Well, we're leaving tomorrow, but we talked to another couple when we first got here and they said that we should check out the Sunset Trail around Sunset, so that's what we're gonna do.
It's a chilly, breezy morning here in El Paso, Texas, and we're up a bit early because we've got a fairly long drive today to Tucson, Arizona. Looking forward to Tucson? Oh yeah. All right, we'll see you next week there. Losing my hat? It's a bit breezier here. Easy. Breezy here, I said. It's a chilly, breezy, windy, no wait. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website and sign up for our weekly email blast. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.